so most of the framework's done, and this is just for the running the wires from the, the carriage. Um, seal the edges quick with some some sealant, and uh, just taped over taped over all the threaded holes for mounting the, the upper gantry, and then taped over some of the holes for the motor mounts and the and the bolt screw mounts at the end. And then we're gonna add um, three steel plates with anchors, so there'll be one one plate that occupies most of the space. And the same thing, same thing right here, and then one um, along this direction, kind of in the center, um, to support three points of support for the for mounting this casting onto the frame. So it's about fourteen inches wide here, twenty seven inches wide there, and then thirteen and uh, twenty. So it'll fit through a standard doorway. And all these welded on anchors are just for just for added support and connection to the, the precision grout. It's about six inches deep from this this uh, plywood to the top. Um, that's about as thick as the the cross casting will be along the whole the whole length. Just more of the ceiling. That's some gaps to fill between the between the plywood and the, and the steel. So these are the base plates that are gonna get cast into the precision grout, um, as well as some M10 bolts. With a nut halfway up and then a washer and a nut um, on the bottom to make small anchors. So these will be for the two main gantry risers, and this is the inner, or the middle front, but there's only three, three feet on the whole machine. So these are just temporary thread rods to clamp the inserts, uh, so I can place them at the top of the form. And all three are the, are the same. And I'll just cut these, cut these off and grind the, grind the surface flat again. So these are removable. Um, they're, just, they're just placed in there. Uh, with these studs welded to the bottom. So they'll be placed once the once we start pouring uh, the grout, um, we'll place these in and just measure them out and make sure they're in the right spot and then uh, finish the, finish the form and security's down so they don't uh, move around. So this is the main weldment with the uh, wooden forms removed. Uh, it's been sitting for a week now um, but it will have to cure for um, about a month and until uh, full strength. But it's about six inches six inches thick and there's three foot pads um, that I showed earlier on each corner and then there's just a passage for wires through the center here so I'll have to take out the, the framework and then uh, Remove off the bottom bottom framework as well. Uh, this is the bottom side. So once we flip it over, that's where the uh, linear rails were uh, mounted as well. Um, so this is just a Sika two one two grout with uh, like three eighths half inch uh, washed aggregate. Um, the pour is a bit wet. I'm kind of upset about that. The uh, a lot of the aggregate of the rocks settled um, to the bottom, kind of the bottom half of the pour. Uh, so I started mixing patches that were a bit drier. Um, so we'll see see how it turns out. I plan on painting it with a, a two part epoxy paint once it's uh, fully dry. The one area I kind of suspect of is this area. Kind of flakes off. Um, kind of dusty and dries off. So. Um, not super happy, but I think it'll I think it'll work okay for, for what I'm doing. Let's figure out how heavy it is. Probably uh, 100 and 150 kilos at least. Probably more. Um, 200 kilos for sure with the steel and everything. So it'll be a bit difficult to maneuver. But I plan on using a uh, an engine hoist and uh, a chain fall and a few other handheld uh, lifting devices to get it to get it to where I need to go.